Hello YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, okay cool, I got all of them, thank you. Um, you will have noticed if you have been following the podcast part of this page um, that last week I released an audio only podcast so because it was audio only that means that it wasn't or is not on YouTube at the moment and that it is just on Spotify. I want to let you know that it will remain on Spotify so in case you want to pick up on that just head on over to Spotify. It was basically a series review like this podcast you're about to listen to it just kind of came in the moment and I was like I'm not sure if I'll make a habit of this but right now after you listen to this after you listen to this um episode you'll realize that I actually do need to continue um with this episode or rather with this topic because there has to be an update because changes have happened in the series of course so that is something that I definitely do need to explore and you will realize that I also am trying to have audio and visual podcasts and not just a visual audio thing on YouTube so the same content you get on YouTube will be the same content that you get on Spotify however YouTube will consist of visuals and Spotify will consist of audio and I'll be trying this I'll be exploring this and I'll eventually get it right so I am really just excited to be journeying with you or having you accompany me on this journey I'm sending you love and light and I think I'll send you love and light again at the end of this episode thank you so much please remember to like share and subscribe Remember how yesterday I spoke about how they were speaking about a lot of grief and all of that, or rather earlier on in this episode, because I am planning on attaching both things. So right now, um, I've realized that for the past two episodes that I've seen, actually, um, they seem to be on this diversity tip. And it's not a bad thing, but I think it becomes bad when the intention is just to appear inclusive. It's kind of, what do you call it, virtual activism, I suppose, Um, which is not considered to be actual activism. You're just portraying to be against something or to be advocating for something. And that right now, for the past two episodes, like I said, I'm seeing a lot of racial representation and I've seen a couple of, I think I've seen two, yeah, just literally two people. I've seen two people who are black and I was like, for a while, I was like, oh, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, I didn't realize that there weren't any black people until I saw black people. Obviously, this is exaggerated, yes, but you know when you see a black person you think that maybe that person would have maybe a line or something in the series or in the episode but that doesn't happen and that's when you get to realize that okay then maybe this is just this is just virtual representation then okay cool right now i am in a new season that was in season five this is season six now and I'm seeing a couple of Asian people. And the thing is, they make it such a point to show you that they have different people. So now I'm starting to like think, like, could that be a form of subtle discrimination? Um, I'll give you the definition of subtle discrimination in psychology. Actually, let me just do that now. Hey, Google. What does subtle discrimination mean? Foster School of Business defines subtle discrimination as bias driven discriminatory behavior without direct payoff. Consequences We similarly define subtle bias as a bias that affects only those decisions that have no direct payoff consequences. 
Okay, so essentially they just gave us the definition of what subtle discrimination is. And basically these are things like, examples are denying employees um, for religious leave. So for people who are probably celebrating New Year's on the 1st of September, um, you don't necessarily get a day off for New Year's, but then when you go according to the Roman calendar, um, on the 1st of January, you're off work, so you get leave. So it's basically that is subtle discrimination because you're not necessarily including everyone. Uh, another example could be lack of diversity in the team. And that is regarded as, as thing you write, as subtle discrimination. But doesn't it like add another layer when this subtle discrimination now means that okay we bring diversity into the team but we don't bring any because it's a series we don't bring any accent diversity then we don't necessarily bring any voice diversity we just all we need to see are these people's faces so i'm really excited to see how it unfolds because i'm hoping that i'll eventually maybe see some characters have lines in the series because right now it doesn't make sense to just make it a point to show these people's faces but they're not saying anything mm -hmm. all in the name of diversity oh, original, like, York and Paul it's Matthew. just kind of like some weird wokeism really like i do not like the cult of wokeism i do not like the cult of inclusivity because if you're going to include other people go in headstrong like make sure that you are including them and really including them giving them valuable parts in whatever it is that you are doing because right now these people are just there what are they doing on my screen if they're not going to do anything type of vibe why are you making it a point and like i said it's the way you have to like look at it from another with another eye i suppose because it's in the way they show these people anyway that was really interesting. I'm going to continue watching now because I'm really enjoying the series. With that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay blessed. Stay gracious. I'm sending you love and light. Goodbye.